Hi everyone and welcome to our first tutorial for Adobe Premiere. I'm going to take a look at Adobe Premiere Elements 7, which is video editing software. You might have version 11 on your machine, you might have version 12. They'll basically perform the same function, in other words, video editing. I'm going to take a look at Element 7 here. Now, before I even click on New Project, I want to make sure that I go into my computer and I create a folder that I'm going to save all of my files in. And when you do that, I want you to do that on the D drive instead of the P drive or the network drive. The reason why is video files can be very large. And if you're trying to save files across the network, it can cause lagging in your video and can cause other problems as well. So let's make sure that we create a file on the D drive and name it properly. We're going to save all of our files in there. So if I go back to my program here, I'm going to click on new project and I'm going to type in the name. And we want to make sure that we are going to save inside that folder. So you're going to go browse. You're going to go find that folder that you just created. Make sure you save everything inside there. So I'm going to click on OK. Now this program is a program that needs a lot of resources. So as you can see, it took a few seconds to open up. Got to make sure that you have lots of room on your C drive. If this program is lagging or it's having a hard time working, you might have too much on your C drive. You might have to do a disk cleanup. So always be aware that this program does take a lot of resources and will not work properly if it doesn't have enough space. Now you can see this is our editing area here. This is where we will see our video. Over here we've got different tabs of different uh, functions that we can do. We have our clips here that we import in and we can drag into our working area. Down here we have our layers. We can see we've got video one layer. We've got audio one layer. I can use my slider bar and slide up here. I've got video two layer, audio two, video three, audio three. So I can have more than one video and audio clip inside here. Now it works the same way that your animation software did. If you put something in layer three, it will sit over top of anything in layer two. And same thing, layer two will sit over top of in the screen anything in layer number one. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring in some video clips. So I'm going to go get media. I'm going to click on this here. And we can get our video from a bunch of different sources. I'm going to get it from a folder. So click on this here. I can see I do have a movie here. And if I try to bring in this video clip, so I'm going to add media, I'm going to double click. You can see that I get an error message here. And it says this type of file is not supported or the required Kodak is not installed. So you're going to find that you're going to try to bring in some video clips and simply the software does not recognize the file type. So you can do one of two things. We need to either go find a different video clip to work with or I need to take the existing clip and change it to a different file type and then try to bring it in. So I'm going to close this window here. I'm going to go get media, PC files and folders. I'm going to go look for another file. So I'm going to try this one here and actually pops up here so I can see the video clips that I've added in here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this into my working space. So I'm going to click hold and drag and I'm going to bring it down into video one and audio one. Now you can see inside here that this top part here is our video and this second part, the bottom part of the layer is our audio. Now I don't, 
have to have audio associated with this. I might bring in my audio file separately, but I can see here that they are connected and they are joined together. Now, just looking at the time here, I can see that it starts at zero and this goes up to approximately one minute, two minutes, three minutes. So I've got about a three minute video here. If I want to, I can zoom in on any parts of this video. So just like an animation, I can scrub through these frames. If I go about to the middle of my video and I stop here, I can zoom in on this frame here. To do that, we're going to use this slider bar. So I can slide this all the way to the right and it will zoom in right down to individual frames and I can actually see the frames inside our video and I can scrub along here and take a look at each one of these frames. Now I'm just going to turn the sound off here so we don't hear the sound. Now you can see it takes a while sometimes for all of the frames to load in but if I slide along here I can see this door is opening and if I want, I can go up here, I can press play. And I can play this video and I can see. You can see that even my computer, it's lagging a little bit. The door should be opening smoothly, but it is lagging. I'm going to stop here and pause it. And you can even see that my computer is having a hard time just stopping this video. So you might find the same thing. Like I said, video editing programs are programs that take a lot of resources from your computer. You're going to have some lagging issues sometimes. As you can see, my computer is trying to respond and it's finally stopped. So this is our zoom in tool. Like I said, we can zoom in to certain frames and we can do different things with that. One thing I can do is if I scrub along here and I take a look at my video, you can see that it's just filling up here. There's an animated portion to this video that maybe I want to remove. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit here and I'm going to find the part where the animation begins and I'm going to get rid of that animation. So I'm going to keep scrubbing along here. Again, you can see it should be responding in here and it is slowly doing that. Hopefully your machine will be working a little better than my machine. The frames are slowly starting to fill in here. Now I'm also trying to record this obviously so that's taking up some resources on my machine. So let's say we're going to stop it here. Now what I want to do is I want to cut this piece of video and let's say I want to delete this final part. So I'm just going to let this play until the animation starts. And then I'm going to cut the animation portion out. So there's where we can see the animation starts and I'm just going to go backwards a little bit so I can see where this begins. And if I scrub over Again, you can see it's a little bit slow to respond. And I keep going over here. Looks like that's still part of my regular video. That's not the animation yet.
So if you take a look down here, you can see that it looks like this is the last frame of the video. And then we fade to black and we go into the animation portion. So I'm going to cut that animation out. So I'm going to use my split clip tool, in other words, the scissor tool. I'm going to click on that there. And you can see that it cuts this into two different pieces. So now what I can do is I can click on this second piece here and I can slide it over so that I'm going to take this whole animation portion out. Now before I do that I'm just going to show you if I right click on this here I can do a couple of different things. I can delete just the audio portion of this clip if I want. I can delete just the video portion and keep the audio. I can do things like unlink the audio and the video. So if I try that, I'm going to go unlink. Then what that does is it allows me to take that audio from that piece and I could move that somewhere else. So I can unlink the audio and the video. Like we said, we could also delete the audio. So if you take a look below, when I do that, you can see that that did disappear. And if I right click, I can delete the audio portion. I can go delete and close gap, and that will get rid of everything here. Now if I go control Z, I can bring this back. And like I said, maybe what I want to do is I want to delete or move this to another layer. So you can see that I separated the audio and the video. So I can actually take the audio clip and I can move it up to a different layer. I've still got my audio actually down here in the bottom. And again, I could take that audio and I could move it anywhere. I could move that to another layer if I wanted to. So I'm going to right click and I'm just going to delete that. And I can take this clip here and I can move it back to layer number one. I can right click and I can delete. So there, now we know how to split clips. We know how to separate audio and video and we know how to import clips into Premiere. That's it for this tutorial. Take care and we'll talk to you soon.